Hey everyone, this is a bit different than what I usually post, but I just wanted to make this video to help a couple of you guys out. Most of you know me for these four Pikmin randomizer videos, and they got a couple of views, to say the least. And it's pretty easy to set up Pikmin 1 randomized due to it having a well-detailed GitHub page, and I'll link that in the description. But Pikmin 2 randomized isn't so simple. I've gotten some comments from people asking me how to set it up, and if my screams of pain and suffering in my videos weren't enough of a deterrent, I want to help you guys set this up. So the randomizer I used was made by Broccoli Man 2002 and it isn't actually finished as far as I'm aware, but has actually gotten some updates since I downloaded it. Pikmin now only do 2 times damage on normal mode and the game is less likely to crash, which is... It was, it's been over 4 times that I've tried to end this day. And now like, I'm starting to get a little bit worried that the game might be soft locked. Yeah, helpful. So anyway, you want to download or open Dolphin if you already have it and then get your legal, legal Pikmin 2 ROM and if you don't see it, make sure you set your game library path to the folder with the ISO in it. Right click your Pikmin 2 ROM and click on properties, then click on file system, then right click the disk and select extract entire disk. This prompts you to choose where you want to extract it. I say make a new folder, name it whatever you want, then extract it there. Open the extracted game folder and now you want to download the randomizer from the link in the description. This download will give you the new files folder as well as a new main.doll folder to replace your old ones with. All you need to do is drag these randomizer files in and replace your extracted game files with these new randomizer files. Files is right next to the system folder and the main doll file is right there inside the system folder. Make sure you're extracting the files into the right spots and when the computer asks you if you want to replace the old files with your new ones, select yes and let the computer do all the work. Once that's done, you're pretty much set. Make a new game library path and set it to that system folder in the extracted game. And that should get your new game to pop up. Optionally, you can go back into Dolphin, right click your now randomized game and click convert file. With that, you can convert your game back into an ISO like all the other normal games, but that step isn't required and I personally didn't do it my first time around. Once again, all the links you need to make this work will be in the description. And the only thing you need to do yourself is getting your hands on a Pikmin 2 ROM, which I'll leave for you. Open up your game and if you did everything right, your title screen should look just a bit different. And as somebody who's gone through what you just set yourself up for, good luck.